Hey viewers, please rate the video. It's to, to actually kill him. Which is why the carries can now finish it up. And they're going to get this guy, no problem. Probably even giving it to uh, to Kogmo here, the kill. Since they really had the choice of who was going to kill him, it's best that the carry does that, since um, Singed uh, already has some decent farm, he already has four kills, and he doesn't really need more items than he already has. He can of course use more items, but he doesn't need it for the team. So Alistar gets killed again, he's not worth that much gold anymore, so it's more about the map control and the fact that if they lose their tank, there is no way they can uh, engage or defend for that matter. Since for the engaging of, uh, of a team fight, you'll need someone to actually engage the fight and that's why you have tanks. I will do uh, uh, because people requested it but also because I was already preparing it. Uh, a video on team compositions and well I'm not going to tell you what the best team is because that depends too much on who you're good with. When I can say that Blitzcrank is the best tank out there, which I'm not saying, but if I would say that, then um, people are going to say no 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 Alistar is much better or Ramus is much better, but it really doesn't matter. They they have the same uh, yeah, they, they have the same uh, purpose in the team, the same task, and um, yeah, if you're good with Alistar, sure he's better than uh, when you pick up uh, Singed for the first time, or uh, Blitzcrank, or Ramus. So it's all about who you're good with, but the team composition, yeah, kind of rules or calculation is still the same. You still need certain things on your team, certain roles, and um, I will be, or I am trying to uh, to get some more information on that and to present that to you in an uh, in a fashion that you can actually well understand what I'm trying to say. But it is coming, and I'm not sure how long it will take because I want it to be uh, as correct as possible. And since there's many opinions on everything in this game, I guess uh, some of you won't agree with my findings and other of you, others of you will and um, I don't really care. It's my opinion, it's my research and um, if you agree with it, that's good. And if you don't agree with it, well, feel free to, uh, to enlighten us with your views. I don't have uh, all the knowledge of this game, uh, so maybe there are people uh, watching this channel that have a lot more knowledge on some subjects so don't hesitate to actually comment I, I hate it when people just uh, dislike a video and don't leave a comment why they dislike it if you dislike a video for any reason just leave a comment why you dislike the video I read the comments most of them at least um, because I get uh, messages in my inbox when uh, when I get a, a new comment on one of my videos. And I read them, I reply to most of them why I make a certain decision or why I say a certain thing. And some of you have insights that I don't have. I mean, just yesterday I had a discussion with someone why uh, on Janna it was best to get shield first in lane. And he commented on it that you can actually get the tornado or howling gaze first because you can uh, release the tornado almost instantly. And I didn't know that. I, I looked it up and it's indeed true. And that makes it a completely different skill. I mean, I still think that shield is the best thing for laning, but 
at least for the team fight it would be a lot better to now have tornado because you can actually aim it normally it would take I think three seconds for it to release and with the three seconds you will not be able to to hit whatever you you're aiming at but if you can release it at will that changes it that cha it completely changes what it does oh. almost missed that oh yeah he still gets the kill with the ultimate He's getting really, really strong now with Last Whisper and Infinity Edge. Uh, so, basically this game has been over for quite a while, uh, being 21 to 9 and the carry being at 6 and 0. Uh, the enemy carry is at 4 and 2 now, so not really as good as 6 and 0. And also, the well, we see 132 creep kills here and 194 here. And that is a big difference. I mean, that's 60 creep kills. That's uh, a lot of gold. I want to see 1800 gold. That's probably true. Somewhere around that, at least. I don't know who got all the dragons. I didn't pay attention to it. But um, yeah, since this game has been over for quite a while, uh, and you can see who takes the dragon anyway, there hasn't been any team fight, so it's basically whoever goes to the dragon gets it. So Void Ooze is his last pick. Uh, it was probably one of his first as well, because it really helps you to farm. But you don't need it uh, to farm up the the creeps late game because well when you have some damage going there's no reason for you to uh, to get any more or, or any of this it's mainly for the slow and I don't think the slow no it's just it slows for 60 percent at this uh, at this point but the 60%, yeah, whether it's 60 or 30, it's more of an escape mechanism than anything else, or a way to catch up with them. So it's just that you have a slow, and not that the slow is uh, very, very good. Yeah, he's going to die here, but he's going to get a kill for it. Oh, no he isn't. Well done by the LeBlanc. And Warwick gets out of that. Uh, Heart of Gold, yeah, this is a recent game. So Heart of Gold only gives you health. And there was a lot of kills. Well, actually only two kills. Okay. But two for zero still. Uh, they get a lot more uh, map control due to that. And... Uh, Oh, are they going to? Yeah, they are going to get this one. And probably this one as well. If they actually stick with it. Oh, he's out of mana. And he's out of mana too. So, they cannot really stick with that. They cannot get the third kill. So LeBlanc being very low health here it seems, but as I said, uh, it doesn't update properly. So I'm not sure whether she's actually low health or that she just uh, went back to base and is full health. But we'll see. Nothing happens, so... Uh So people are just farming up once again, uh, not really gearing up for a big team fight or anything. Rice is just going to kill off this uh, minion wave and they're probably going for dragon here. Because it's up again.
So the enemy team is nowhere in the jungle near Dragon, so they can take Dragon and the blue buff. So Rice gets to refresh his blue buff, he already had one. Then again Kogmo has one as well. So they have all the mana they need, I guess. They're not going for dragon, which is surprising to me. Since it is a lot of gold and they can use all the gold they can get. And they really don't want the enemy team to have it. Because that would make that they would be able to come back. So they get this turret, they get this inhibitor, which is of course good to have. And it's a bit a, a much better choice than to go for dragon, but dragon would take one person about 20 seconds, especially Warwick, since Warwick is now uh, okay. It's a bit of a mess here, since the whole enemy team is spread out, and. Uh, the green team is uh, in one spot, basically, except for Karkma, of course, because he has a beautiful range to uh, to stay out of the fight. So, yeah, that was pretty much an ace, except for this guy, and this guy is not a real threat. He doesn't have anything, any damage. He only has health and health regen, so... It's a surrender, I guess. Oh no, they just killed the Nexus, which is good too. So, it was a real exciting game because, well, they kind of owned it. And, um, yeah, that's about it. That's all there is to it. They uh, outfarmed on the bottom lane and mid lane. They uh, got a lot of kills on the bottom lane and some kills on the mid lane. They lost top lane, but not by a lot. I mean, 1 and 3 against 3 and 0 is, yeah, not a really big deal. They did get outfarmed on the top lane, but, well, winning two lanes and losing one is still GG, pretty much. And they had a well-fed carry in uh, in Kogma, so Hotshot carry the game, and uh, I hope you enjoy. So I'll see you next time. GG.